Oh, now, in the last year, hundreds of bus routes have been reduced or scrapped altogether, but now new laws could look to change all that. Ben has been looking at this for us this morning. Morning. Uh, morning to you both. Thanks very much. Yes, those new rules could give city councils more power over the routes, the fares and the schedules for buses. In the same way that a separate body in London, that's Transport for London, governs public transport in the capital. Uh, and of course it's vital, five billion journeys were made on British buses last year, but remember not all of them are profitable, particularly in remote areas, so they get a subsidy to run them from the local authority. But those subsidies have faced big cuts over the last year, amounting to about £28 million, about a third slash from budgets in England and Wales. So here on this map, the darker the colour, the bigger the cut. So the smallest cuts, as you can see, were in, well, the West Midlands, a cut of about 2%. But the biggest was in the South West, uh, and there were also big cuts too in the North West. Uh, all of that can have a big impact on services. Well, with me now is Liana Epkind, who's from the Campaign for Better Transport. Liana, good morning. Good morning. Um, first of all, let's clarify this, because many people will assume perhaps wrongly, that the council at the moment governs bus services, but that's not always the case, is it? No, indeed. About 80% of buses outside London and the UK are run as commercial services by bus companies deciding where to run their routes and what timetables to stick to. About 20% are supported services where the local authority subsidises the bus service and has some say in where the buses go and which communities they serve. So at the moment these proposals will give the local authority more control over it and the idea I suppose is to make it a little bit more joined up. Uh, what should it change? What difference will passengers see? Where local authorities decide to use the powers in the bus services bill, it will enable local authorities to really start planning their bus networks as a whole rather than route by route and indeed to plan transport networks. So one example might be making sure that the bus timetable matches up to where the rail uh, timetable and when trains come into the station. It will also enable councils to introduce multimodal and multi-operator ticketing. So instead of buying a bus ticket on one bus and then being told you can't use it on the bus back because it's a different company. The bus services bill will enable you to have one ticket or one card for the same fare and use that on buses or even on transport as a whole throughout a city or an area. Is it fair to put the pressure on the uh, bus services or the bus companies themselves? Because you might say on one hand the council is saying, look, we're going to cut how much we subsidise your service. On the other side, you've got the bus company, which is a commercial organisation. They exist to make money. And then there's a, a spot in the middle where they don't overlap. The, the council's cutting the money, the bus service needs to make a profit, and the two are never going to meet, are they? Mm. We would like the powers in the bus services bill to be supported by sustainable, long-term funding and the government to recognise that the role that local buses play in supporting uh, strong economies and strong communities. But actually, good bus companies have nothing to fear from the bus services bill. And indeed, where franchising was introduced in Jersey in 2013, bus passenger numbers went up by a third. New routes were put on, frequencies increased. So actually, I think that people stand to gain from better bus services, but bus companies too, where services become more attractive, will see some people move from the car or from other forms of transport and decide to take buses. Yeah, such a vital lifeline for many people. Uh, Liana, good to talk to you. Thanks so much, Liana Edkine, from the Campaign for Better Transport. More from me after eight. See you then. Thank you. Uh, time now to...